Hey, so I wanted to come on here and make this quick video about a show that I saw last week on Investigation Discovery. And any of you who have been following my channel for a while probably already know that I'm a huge fan of uh, true crime shows. I could literally binge watch shows like Forensic Files on HLN and most of the shows that are aired on Investigation Discovery Network for hours. Um, anyway, I saw this show on Investigation Discovery Network called, um, let's see, The Killer Beside Me. And the title of this particular episode was Target on Her Back. And it was about this very tragic story of a man named Christopher O. Crowley who killed a co-worker named Carolyn Nozel, I think in 2015. And it's very, a very bizarre turn of events because he killed her on his birthday and then he ended up killing himself after he was convicted of her murder in prison on her birthday but anyway I don't want to rehash the um, entire story so I'll give you a brief synopsis of the episode so basically they worked at a grocery store in Madison Wisconsin and Christopher O. Crowley was a very you know from all indications a pretty socially awkward and shy dude so Carolyn befriended him because that was her personality she was very seemed to be a very friendly and open and nurturing and giving person and she wanted to make him feel comfortable as a new employee there at the grocery store so she befriended him and she brought him into her inner circle although she had the best intentions by being friendly with him and adding him to her circle of friends it ended up working obviously to her own detriment a few things transpired during their friendship that led to her filing a sexual harassment complaint against him and he also was arrested for propositioning a teen to send him lewd photos via text message long story short he ended up being fired by the grocery store management and he was angry because of that and sought revenge and retribution against her and which resulted in him killing her so I'm gonna to get to the point of the video someone else I know who watched the video or watched this episode of uh, the killer beside me she was saying that if it were her and she were in that situation she wouldn't even bother to file a sexual harassment complaint she would just leave the job and not look back. Well, I was thinking, okay, well, maybe she could be right about her assessment because on the one hand, you don't want a bully to go on. Basically, that's what a person who does sexual harassment is, a bully, and a person who uses intimidation tactics to get what they want from their victims. You don't want them to go unchecked and unpunished um, and undisciplined for their actions. But in the same breath, if you do report them and they end up being reprimanded or terminated, you may have won the battle but then end up losing the war. Just as in this situation because yes he ended up getting terminated so perhaps um the person who suggested that she should have just left quit the job without notice notice and not look back maybe she's right because her life is certainly more important than a job 
and there was no way for her or her family to anticipate that or you know for them to know that he would have reacted in, in such a hostile and insane manner there was no way they could have known that he would have did this to her and i i seen a few videos on youtube of these women who worked in places where they were being sexually harassed and they took the same course of action which is to just walk off the job and, and never go back you know i'll if i find those videos i'll post the links in the description box and i'll also post the link in the description box to this uh episode of killer beside me but they reported those incidents of sexual harassment and they felt that not enough was done to the um, person or to the perpetrator so they just decided to rather than pursue the the matter any further they decided to just walk off the job and, and not, never go back so maybe sometimes in some cases that is the best course of action but I think especially when it's in a, in a situation where the job is a dead-end job but not everybody has that option some people have are responsible for supporting their families and may have a lot of bills and debt and can't afford to just simply walk off of a job but I think if I was in that situation or predicament what I would do is um, file a restraining order with the police the local police department and make sure that I had a weapon have a license a permit or a license to carry a firearm as my protection and if possible try to have uh, someone to accompany me maybe a male to accompany me you know as I'm leaving and going to work but that's just me so let me know how you guys think what your guy what you guys thoughts are on this and I'll holler at y'all in the next video thank you